guys and welcome back to my channel in this video uh, someone cool asked me to make the smart 0.7 liter turbo inline 3 yes in this in this video now this is a clone this is a clone from the original replica that I made but in this video I'm gonna tune it to make it produce the maximum horsepower this engine can do without changing many many stuff in it I mean I'm gonna keep it basic but I'm gonna make it produce more horsepower. All right, let's start with the clone. The, any cl any clone you want to make in this game, uh, they will close these options for you. For example, you cannot change the inline three or the material or the bore and stroke here. You cannot change the the head head and valve uh, setup. You cannot change the head material. The VVL, if you want to cancel it or add it, you can you cannot. Uh, make any change in any changes in this area because as you see here the family is locked you cannot unlock it because because this is a cologne all right moving to the next step we can change the crankshaft of course the uh, connecting rods and the pistons so yes if I want to make more horsepower I'm gonna need to make the the block inter internals more more durable more powerful to so they can take the punishment Let's start. I don't want to go. I don't want to go too extreme, like uh, billet steel or titanium. Just forged steel, I beam steel, and lightweight forged. This way, we can move the RPM to the max. And the quality, yes, I'm gonna use high, higher quality ones. So plus five will be fine. Compression ratio. Now this this area is. Um, I'm gonna leave it. Uh, to the 9.01 because I'm gonna make the turbo bigger and uh, I don't want to miss the compression ratio because make a uh, giving uh, if you want to add more compression yes you will gain more power but you will need higher fuel octane so I'm gonna keep it at 9.01 for now cam profile and VVL profile I'm gonna leave it now so I uh, oh no, no, no let, let's let's play with them a little bit now, usually, if I, if I want to make the cam profile, I always look at this, the fuel efficiency. As you can see, when you slide it up and down, yes, if you start, if I started to make it higher, you will lose fuel efficiency. But also, if you move it too low, also you will lose fuel efficiency. So you have to keep it in the range of the green. Like for example, here you can you can only reach 18.8. So 20 will be fine or 19. Yes, good. VVL profile. This is where your maximum horsepower or the maximum range of RPM you want the cam to reach, and you want the valves to open. So in, the, in this engine, in this clone, I, I don't care about fuel efficiency, but it's okay to to keep it here in the cam profile to keep the engine smooth. But VVL profile, I, I'm I'm gonna just move it to make it make it more sensible. And produce more horsepower. So I guess let's see if I can. Yes, I think 62 is the maximum. So we can we can get so far. Let's move the quality bar to plus five. Of course, variable valve timing is good. Turbocharger. Now here here is where the magic happens. But before we start playing with it, let's let's use the highest fuel octane let's change the engine to direct injection direct injection so we can get more fuel higher fuel efficiency and we can use less fuel octane but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it on 100 so we can make the maximum power let's change the intake manifold to a throttle per, per cylinder the intake system to performance Yes, and the fuel mixture. Since we now, since we are using a direct direct injection, we can use the we can use we can burn more fuel easily without get, having the problem of running rich. So, 12.5 is good. Ignition timing. Let's slide it up a bit. Or no, we can we can move it to the max because we have so many we have so much room from 86 to 100. The RPM range now. Let's see how much how much we can go. Seven thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, and then these you can, see, you can see the power is starting to get down. Why? Because the camshaft is not. Look. Oh. Now yes, if I use the race one, I'm, I, I can I can keep it. I can make it run. 
but I'm gonna lose torque. Okay, this is a racing engine then. Let's use the equality slider to the max, use this one to the max also because I want to make it so powerful. Turbo to the max, quality of course, not the turbo itself. Alright, now, next thing I need to do is, let's see, the exhaust system. The exhaust needs to high flow. Um, let's make it loud as hell. Higher quality. All right, now what? <sighs> let's get back and change the. All right, now yes, the turbo. Now it's the magic time. Let's use a bigger intercooler as a start. All right, uh, now the compressor. Let's see how big we can go. Let's keep it in 28. Turbine. Yes, baby, go higher. Let's make more power. So the highest is 89. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Turbine. Yes. Let's move back to the RPM. I want. I want to make it go to ten thousand if I can. The boost. Let's see how hard can we go. No, I don't want to make the engine explode. For example, twenty psi. Yeah, I know twenty psi is freaking high, but but who know? Who cares? Because we want power. Alright, the AR ratio, good. Now let's see the turbine. Yes, this this is good. Compressor. Yes, baby, 100 and... 150. Brake horsepower, let's see, boost. No, no need. AR ratio. Good. And... I guess... 60 yes that's good now we have reached the 96 fuel octane we don't i'm gonna keep it right boost 22 166 no 166 is good compressor 9000 good huge no as you can see there is no difference of using the medium or large because this is it. this engine is small so we don't need that much big of big of intercooler because the turbo is small too let's use the let's I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it the maximum fuel shot 10.5 look at the fuel efficiency so freaking low because I'm, I'm pouring so much fuel in it all right exhaust good Next, let's see. I'll drop it to 9,000 because this is the maximum. That, this is the maximum horsepower range. Uh, right. So now we have <laughs> we have 88.5. So we have bigger room to go. Right. Let's see how big we can go in the turbo. 80, 180 horsepower. Boost. Let's boost the hell out of it. All right, 27. Let's let's go to the compression ratio. Make it higher. Yes, 200 horsepower, baby. 200 horsepower. That's awesome. Fuel. I don't care. I'm gonna. This is a racing engine, so I'm gonna make it freaking freaking good. 206. 207, 208, boost, boost baby, 99, right, 99 fuel octane, 99.9, wow, yes, make 27, we have extra room, yes, that's good to the 9000, yes. I mean, yes, this engine power curve is, is crappy, but I'm but I'm going for max horsepower. So yes, 220 horsepower. Why is it knocking? 
Wow. No, we don't gain anything. Boost, no. 227. Wow, that's massive. All right, let's let let test the engine see how I see the sound of it. Shooting flames, listen to that babe. Let's see the internals. Did you see the? Did you hear the popping and the flame shooting? Wow! Look at the size of that turbo. Extremely big. Wow. Producing so freaking horsepower, 227 from only 698 cc single overhead cam. I mean, if, if I can change this engine and, and make it dual overhead cam with more valves, this engine will produce easily, I think, 300 horsepower. But I'm gonna keep it the same as the stock engine. I mean, yes, the internals are different, it has a direct fuel injection, so different head and the bigger turbo and let's see what else it will change the intake manifold is different there's a there's an error here where's the throttle body oh here we go sorry i forgot to add it yes here we go from here yes you have now individual throttle bodies uh, racing exhaust manifold with a performance air filter bigger intercooler and more fuel going in this engine is consuming so much fuel. Look at the fuel mixture. 10, 10.0. This thing is running, is burning fuel. It's burning so much fuel. Look at the fuel efficiency, 6.8. It has no fuel efficiency. This, this thing just burns everything in its way. Throttle response is somehow good. The reliability, surprisingly, this engine is reliable, so yes, you can use it on the road. Imagine that. Imagine this engine in 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 the same smart car. Engine swap or engine upgrade. Put this put this engine in the smart car because it's it's the same capacity. It's the same 0.7. The smart car will fly. It will dominate everything on the drag race, in drag racing or on the track with this engine. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for the for the for the, for the fan that uh, sent this request. He asked only for 100 horsepower engine, but 
why do you, why do you need 100 horsepower the original one the original one is 61 and this one is 220 enjoy it enjoy watching this video guys and request more cool engines thank you so much for watching please hit that like button and subscribe for more automation videos and uh, in the future i'm gonna make so yes i today i received another uh, another request someone asked for the for the v8 versus v12 engine video someone asked me for to put them in the in in a car okay i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna make that that video tonight uh wish me luck guys uh, support the channel subscribe and like all my videos and watch them and enjoy them have a great friday guys bye bye